Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create this type of assembly drawing in Tecla structures. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with US environment. Now I'm going to create column. So click on steel and select this column. Click on here to place the column. Click on escape to exit the command. Now I'm going to change column height. So double click on it. Click on here. Let's take bottom level 0. Click on modify and close it. I'm going to place same column at here. So select this column and click on here to place the same column like this. Now click on escape to exit the command. Now we're going to create beam at the top of this column. So click on beam and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here to create beam like this. Click on escape to exit the command. Now we're going to create connection between this column to beam. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F. In search bar, type 186 you'll get this component column with stiffeners 186 connection so select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a beam you can see now we have the connection between column to beam similarly we are going to create the same connection at here so pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a beam click on escape to exit the command now close this window here now click on space right click on mouse read review you can see now we have connection between column to beam like this now i'm going to create same beam at the 10 feet level so select this beam right click on mouse copy special linear click on clear you need to copy this beam 10 feet below so in opposite z direction we need to enter here negative minus 10 feet then click on copy and ok right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse you we can see now we have two beams two floor levels and we have the connection here like this now we're going to create base plate connection at here at the bottom of this column so go to application components by using the shortcut control f in such bar type 1042 you'll get this component base plate 1042 select this component and pick the part as a column and pick the position at here gradient section point to create a base plate like this i'm going to create same base plate at here so select the column and pick position here to create base plate now close this window Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, redraw. You can now go to create this column assembly drawing. So select this column, right click on mouse, create drawing and assembly drawing. You need to click on here and click on perform numbering. You can see one drawing created successfully. Now click on space, right click on mouse, redraw. To open drawing list, use the shortcut control L. You can see now we have drawing mark number C1 and type A. Type A indicates the assembly drawing. Now we're going to open this drawing. So double click on this drawing to open. Now close this window here. You can see by default we have drawing like this. Okay, now we're going to delete all dimensions and part marks. We will start from scrap. So double click on this select dimensions in drawing. You can see now this one only activated, remaining or off. So drag and select entire drawing. Now only dimensions are selected. So click on delete to delete all dimensions similarly we're going to delete all part marks so click on here select marks and notes you can see now only this one only selected so drag and select entire drawing you can see now only marks are selected so click on delete to delete all part marks now click on here select all to activate all commands now i'm going to create part marks for this drawing so click on beam right click on mouse add mark and apply you can see now we have the part mark for this column c1 now coming to this beam so select this beam right click on mouse add mark and apply click on it and use the left mouse key to adjust the position we don't require center line so double click on this center line now click on here to remove the center line now click on modify apply okay you see we don't have any center line here now we need to give the part marks for the stiffeners you can see now we have the stiffeners here one and the other side also we have second one similarly here one and other side second one totally we have four and here also four total we have eight stiffeners here you can see in top view one and two three four similarly we have five six seven eight all stiffeners are same if you want to verify you can come here just to give the part mark for this one stiffener click on it right click on mouse add mark and apply it you can see now we have the part mark for this stiffener is P, P2. Now coming to the beloved material, you can see now in beloved material P2, we have the quantity 8. 
it indicates that all stiffeners are same so no need to give the part marks for all stiffeners just give the part mark for one stiffener and double click on it now scroll it down and select this text and add it now when you type here in bracket typical typ click on ok click on modify apply ok you can see now we have the part mark p2 typical typical means remaining stiffeners are same part mark p2 okay now coming to this connection plate so select it right click on mouse add mark and apply now we have the part mark p1 but no need to give the typical because we have two connection plates so we need to give part marks for it so double click on it now remove the typical click on modify apply okay now we have the part mark p1 here similarly we need to give the part mark for this one right click on mouse add mark and apply it Yes, now we have the two part marks p1 and p1 connection plates now coming to this weld this base plate should be welded to this beam so we need to give the weld mark here so go to annotations and select this weld mark and pick at the edge and pick the first point and pick the second point at here to create the weld mark by default we have the single side weld but we need to weld around weld so you can see now this beam this i profile should be welded around at the junction of this base plate so double click on this weld size now click on here and set this around option then click on modify you can see now we have the around weld if you want to change the weld size you can click on here and enter the weld size as as per your standards then click on modify apply okay like this now coming to here this p2 should be welded to this i section so we need to give the section here section so click on view and select this section view and pick the first point here and pick the second point and pick the cut box here pick the first point and second point for the cut box and click on here to place the section view now now we need to adjust this position so click on this top view and drag it upward direction similarly we need to click on this box and drag it by using the left mouse key and we have the space now so click on this blue box and use the left mouse key to adjust the position like this now delete this part mark now we're going to create once again so click on this blue box and place it nearby this section click on it and use the left mouse key to adjust the position for part marks or oh, section views also like this okay in section view you can see now the stiffener so we need to give the part marks for this stiffener in the section view also so select this stiffener right click on mouse add mark and apply it now we have the part mark p2 select this stiffener right click on mouse add mark and apply it now we have the part mark p2 both are same so no need to give the weld size on both sides just give the one side and make it as a typical we don't require any hatching in this column so double click on this column go to fill and click on here and select none then click on modify apply ok you can see now coming to the weld size so click on annotations and select this weld mark and click on the first point here pick the second point to create weld mark like this currently we have the around weld we don't require any around weld so double click on this weld size now remove the weld around mark then click on modify we need to weld this size on this side and this side and this side means the three side so no need to give the weld size on here and here just indicate here reference text click on here and type three side then click on modify you can see now we have three side weld it indicates the three you need to weld on three sides okay now coming to this weld size you need to weld uh, at all p2 stiffeners so you need to make it in bracket typical no need to mention this weld size at every stiffener junction so just make it here typical then click on modify apply okay okay now coming to this connection plate we need to weld this connection plate so we need to give the weld size here so go to welding mark and pick the first point here and pick the second point to create weld mark this is the connection plate we need to weld double side at this junction so double click on it and you need to click on here and select this one and you need to type here weld size 3 by 16 now we don't require this typical so remove it then click on modify apply ok and just place like this now coming to here we need to weld here also so select this weld mark and pick the first point and second point to create weld size 
at this location also like this now coming to this distance we need to mention the the stiffeners and this plate distances from the edge of this I section profile so go to dimensioning and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at the edge of this plates at each and every plate you need to select here and you need to click on here zoom it and click on here and you need to click on here the next point and this plate is at the edge so no, no need to give the dimension so click on here to place the dimension like this right click on mouse interrupt now I have the dimension like this this dimensions we can call it as a chain dimension uh, for example required running dimension then double click on it click on here and select one two three fourth one then click on modify apply ok ok this style we can call it as a running dimension you can see this running dimension is starting from the edge of this column to edge of these plates like this ok now coming to the top view in top view also we need to mention part mark so select this base plate right click on mouse add mark and apply it now we have the base plate like this hold the shift and left mouse key to adjust the position with arrow like this now select this beam right click on mouse add mark and apply it now create column part mark like this now coming to the stiffeners all stiffeners are same so just give the one stiffener part mark and click on it hold the shift and left mouse key to adjust the position like this with the arrow now double click on this part mark now scroll it down and select this text and add it and in bracket we need to make it typical typ now click on ok now click on modify apply ok like this now coming to this connection plate select it right click on mouse add mark and apply it double click on it now we don't require typical so remove typical modify apply ok now we need to give the part mark for this connection plate also select it right click on mouse add mark and apply it you can also place at the at this location also like this instead of outside you can place like this also now we need to give the dimension set here from edge of this flange to edge of this connection plate so select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point here and press this scroll middle button to press the dimension right click must interrupt now we have the previous dimension running dimension at this location we don't require any running dimension we require chain dimension at this location so double click on this dimension and click on here and select the first one then click on modify apply ok you can see now we have the dimension like this similarly we need to give the dimension at here also so select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and press the scrolling wheel button to place the dimension click on it and use the left mouse key to adjust the position of this dimension like this okay you can place at this location also click on it and place it like this from edge of this plate to edge of this flange like this this is the connecting side mark if you require you can keep it if you don't require then double click on it now coming to here remove the tick mark then click on modify apply ok to remove the connecting side mark similarly we are going to remove this symbol also so double click on it remove the tick mark then click on modify apply ok like this now coming to this section in our section we have the base plate section view in section AA now coming to here select this blue box and move it upward direction like this now we're going to give the part marks for this section so select this base plate right mouse add mark and apply it now we have the base plate part mark like this now select this column right click on mouse add mark and apply it hold the shift and left mouse key and you need to place it here like this now we need to give the relation between this column to this base plate so click on this horizontal distance and pick the first point here pick the second point at the middle of this column and pick the third point at here press the scroll middle button to place the dimension similarly in we need to give the vertical dimension also select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at the middle of this column and pick the third point at here and press scroll middle button to place the dimension like this you can see these dimensions are same 
that indicates this column should be at the middle of this base plate. That's it. Now we can adjust the placement here. Select this blue box and use the left mouse key to adjust the position to fit this drawing in the drawing sheet like this. Select this blue box and use the left mouse key to adjust the position. Now coming to this bill of material, you can see now we have the bill of material for this assembly drawing at this location. We have the part marks, quantity and profiles and weight and length. Okay, now use the shortcut Ctrl S for save the drawing. Now close the window here. Okay, that's it about how to create assembly drawing for this column in Tecla structures. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you